Hi, my name is Frederick Chipkin. In this lesson, I'm going to be teaching you how to put a messy text on design into repeat. If you don't like the word messy, think of these designs as being brushstrokey or artistically free. My intention is to give you a specific set of skills so that you'll never find any design too intimidating to conquer. After taking this class, you'll have the skills you need so that you know how to approach messy paisleys, messy animal skins, messy patchworks, and pretty much any kind of messy design that's put before you. If you don't have a background in creating basic repeats, please check out my class called Adobe Photoshop for Textile Design, Part 4A, Creating Repeats. This class will give you a solid foundation in how to create square and half drop repeats. In this class, we're going to be working on one particular design, this one here. We're going to be placing this design into a half drop repeat in a particular way. However, don't forget that the concepts and skills that you'll be learning from this lesson can be applied to many different kinds of designs. Now, before we begin this lesson, on this page, I provided a link so you can download this practice image. So, pause the lesson, get your practice image, and we'll continue. Don't forget to save this image into a location on your computer where you can easily find it again. Now, one of the main concepts in creating a repeat is to create a seamless design. In other words, you want to get rid of the seam or join mark over here, where the two parts of the repeat meet. Now, what most people who've worked in Photoshop say to themselves is, oh, that's easy. I'll just use the clone stamp tool. Mind me, this is a very logical conclusion. But as you can see, it simply doesn't work well and is terribly clunky and the results just don't look right with a messy design like this. Where the edges meet, it doesn't look natural the way it should. What we want here is a more natural and organic look. What we ultimately want here is something more like this, where the two parts of the design flow together and you're totally unaware of where the seam between the two parts used to be. And I'll show you how to get there right now. Mm -hmm. 